Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm preparing for a trip and so I thought I'd share a few tips with you on things that I take with me when I go somewhere. The first thing I do is I have this travel on uh, passport holder and it has a long cord that goes around your neck and in it I carry right in the front I carry my auto insurance cards and a copy of my health insurance card. It's a copy. Then it has a pocket right here for my passport and for my immunization record so that if I'm going overseas I need those and it's sometimes even easier to use your passport just in the airport even if you're flying around the United States because you don't have to worry about misplacing your driver's license or your identification card. There's a spot right here to boarding passes so then you hang it around your neck you go through security you put your things back in here you have this when you're ready to get on the plane you just pull it out and the rest of it then you can stick it into your carry-on. I also like this because it has a little pouch in the back where I keep a copy of all of my credit cards and everything that's in my wallet identification, credit cards, bank cards, any of that stuff, insurance cards, I keep a copy in here in case anything happens. I also keep a little card with all my emergency contacts on it and a little chapstick because that's the thing that I need all the time. I found this little tiny chapstick so I put it in there and I also load it up with some cash. If I'm traveling overseas is I carry a money belt and inside the money belt I have a copy of my passport I have a copy of my emergency information contacts. I have a copy of anything that was in my wallet and I have my cash and I keep the cash in an envelope because I don't want the dollars showing through if for any reason there's something to see through my clothes and I've also learned to wrap it all up in a plastic bag because sometimes when you're out if it's hot you perspire with this against your skin and then your money gets all wet. So get one of these to put it under your clothes around your waist and I carry both of these. Then in my suitcase I keep a copy of my passport and all of my identification in a little plastic thing so nothing can spill on it. I keep it in a little pocket here. I also keep my emergency contacts and any notes of anything places I want to see or anything that I need to remember. I keep that in the little side pack it is well and I always carry some little utensils because you never know when you're going to need a snack along the way. And So that's what I use when I prepare for a trip to organize my cash, my identification, my boarding passes, and any of my contact information. And wherever you're going around the world, remember to have a wonderful time and stay safe. Also, if you're going to be traveling long distance uh, for any reason where you're going to be using your credit card in an unusual place, notify your credit card companies. And if you're going to be traveling overseas and you want to take any kind of cash, be sure you choose bills that are 2004 or newer and take small denomination. Don't accept the older bills because of counterfeiting problems and you don't want to get over there and you can only find a place to spend cash and uh, they won't take your money or they'll give you 10 cents on the dollar for your hundred dollar bill so it's really fun to travel I advise everyone to go everywhere you can get the wanderlust in your heart and enjoy it and stay safe so have a wonderful day